let's discuss tonsillectomy. All right, let's discuss tonsillectomy. What are the indications of tonsillectomy? So first indication I have just told you, that is your recurrent sore throat. Now, when do you call it as recurrent? Will the second episode constitute recurrent? No. Okay. So, when do you call it as recurrent? So, you call it as recurrent when there are more than seven episodes, seven or more episodes in one year. Five or more episodes per year for two years. Okay. Three or more episodes per year for three consecutive years. Okay. Three continuous years, three last years. Okay. Or if a child misses more than 14 days in one year because of sore throat. Okay. So if any of this is met, then we call it as recurrent sore throat. Now remember, this recurrent sore throat, these criteria that I have mentioned, they are part of a larger criteria that was followed for tonsillectomy. That's known as paradise criteria. Okay. That's known as paradise criteria. Now over here, I remember, you know, many students, they come to me and they ask me, sir, how many times should I revise to get selected for my post graduation, right? To get selected, to get a very good rank. So you see, I say that for us who have done MBBS doctors, our paradise is getting our dream branch in our dream college. That's our paradise. And to get into the paradise, you have to follow the paradise criteria. Okay. What do I mean by that? If you want to get selected, you have to do one thing. There is only one key that every teacher will always tell you that there is one key for selection, nothing else. And that is revision. That is revision. It is more important to revise what you have studied than to keep on studying different things. Okay, right. If and if you study less, if you revise it more times, you have better chances of getting a higher rank. If you just keep on reading things, but you don't revise, you never come back to them, you will not get selected, you will not have a very good rank. Okay, so revision and what kind of revision? Yes, recurrent revisions. Recurrent revisions. How many revisions? Sir, one, two, three, enough? No, not at all enough. 10 revisions. How many? 10. Yes. Yes, 10 revisions. Okay. So 10 is the number that you have to achieve. 10 revisions. Okay. See, I tell you the criteria. I said paradise criteria. Paradise criteria for your selection. If you want your selection to be done in the first time, you have to revise seven or more times. It's as simple as that. Okay. If if you are able to revise only five times, you will have to struggle for two years. In the second time, you will be able to clear the exam. If you revise only three times, okay, then per year for three years, three consecutive years. If you join a junior residency somewhere, you start working for one year in between, then it is gone. The, the, the previous two years are gone. Then you have to start from zero because in one year you forget things, right? Okay, and I know that it's not possible to revise all the 19 subjects. That also I know. I know you cannot revise all 19 subjects 10 times. So how many subjects you should minimum revise in one year? Answer is over here. Once again, answer is how many? 14 subjects. Okay, 14 subjects have to be revised in one year, at least, you know, more than seven times, eight, nine, ten times. Yes, that's true. You know, many people, they, they think what sir is saying is, you know, uh, is superficial. It's not like that. It is always like that, right? If you don't revise, you will never be able to clear the exam. You will never be able to get a rank as per your potential and desires, right? You know, I always say in three times, you just start remembering the topic and the subtopics. By the fifth time, by the fifth time, you are able to remember the questions, but there is still a lot of confusion left. Okay. Only by the seventh time, only by the seventh time, you start remembering the right answer without any, you know, mistakes in it. And sometimes some controversies are left by eighth, ninth, tenth time. You are able to also solve those controversies. 
okay whether you are a superman you have super intelligent memory whether you are a commoner you all will have to revise seven to ten times in medical science there is so much of knowledge nobody can be a superman to do in one two three times and just go with it no okay if you're trying to do that it is not going to happen let me tell you you know uh, anyone i will not give example of anyone else i'll just give my own example when i was preparing for my post graduation so i started preparing after i completed internship during internship i was not preparing for the uh, entrance exam simple reason was you know i i used to teach pmt at the time i was doing my mbbs so i have been teaching for a very long time okay i had a lot of fame for teaching biology at that time and i was very happy right because my career was set i wanted to go in to be a teacher and teach biology to the kids i used to love that and i was making good money as well right so that was also good but then i decided that i have to uh, do my post graduation the story is different so it was was because of a girl yes i decided that i have to do post graduation because you know without post graduation the girl is not ready to get married to you that's the story of every doctor okay uh, the uh, yeah she didn't get married to me anyways but yes uh, that's a different story but you know just plain mbbs the girl is not ready to get married to you. so you need to have another degree and md ms degree with you so i decided that i have to after i have completed my internship i have to do the entrance exam preparation now my batchmates they were studying for two years three years four years time since their mbbs first year second year i on the other hand was enjoying my life teaching and making money and full assured of my career which was in teaching biology so it changed now i only had one advantage that i was a teacher also so i know what to do what students make the most common mistake they just keep on studying they don't revise so i had a less period of time where i had to revise everything i made sure of everything that whatever i study i will revise 10 times i got 9 months to prepare in 9 months i read the entire mbbs course again and i made sure whatever i am reading i revise it 10 times and i had a simple analogy to it whatever i could not revise whatever i thought i will not be able to revise 10 times i didn't waste even one day on it one minute on it i didn't even revise study it one time so i selected the course what i could revise 10 times i will study only that what i could not revise 10 times i will not study even one time and that's how i got selected in under 100 rank in delhi pg at that time so that is what you have to do 10 times revision is a must to clear and get a desired rank in your desired college right okay so ton select me first indication that we have studied is recurrent sore throat right what else what are the indications we have already studied something yes quincy quincy what do do what do we do in quincy in quincy we do interval tonsillectomy after 6 weeks remember in quincy we said after 6 weeks now i also told you single episode in a child and second episode in an adult is an absolute indication of tonsillectomy right okay so we have studied that we are discussing only the absolute indications right now right absolute indications number 3 tonsils are causing obstruction so patients having uh, difficulty in swallowing patients having obstructive sleep apnea difficulty in breathing so they are causing obstruction of any kind 